channel if you are new here. Today I am going to be sharing with you my top 10 makeup products under $10 and this video is also a collab with Diana Simmons. I hope I'm saying her name right um, but I really do love her channel. She's so like genuine and down to earth like she's so fun to watch. I've only been watching her for well, I've been watching her for quite a while now, um, and I just, like, love sitting down and listening to her talk just because she's so, like, genuine and honest, and she doesn't even have that many. She's only been going, uh, doing YouTube for a couple months, and she's almost to 100 subscribers, and she really wants to hit 100 subscribers, so go hit her to 100. Um, subscribe to her. Um, to comment on her video and tell her I sent you. I will link her channel in the description box along with her video link, and... Yeah, I'm going to share with you my top 10 makeup products under $10, so let's get into it. I might possibly have 11 products, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 11 products, and I also have a tool here. So, I did cheat a little bit, but one product is this Maybelline Master Prime. I love this primer. It's a great primer from the drugstore. It's a blur and smooth, and it is great, and I, it's just like one of the only primers I ever use, and I really love it. A foundation I've actually repurchased. This is the second one I've had. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. I have in the shade 100 Ivory. I just love this foundation. It's like the greatest foundation of all time. So, love this. Great from the drugstore and it's one of my favorites. A concealer, which I'm actually not wearing this because it's a little too dark for me right now in the winter, even though it's in the shade light, is this Maybelline Fit Me. This is a great concealer from the drugstore. It's my favorite one. I'm trying out the NYX one right now. That one's like making my under eyes a little bit creepy. So if I put this on on top or like mix it, then it doesn't look as bad. But I did not do that today, but sometimes I will. Um, or this is great for just covering blemishes, and it's just a great overall concealer, and I love this stuff. Powder. This has been a repurchase powder of mine. I literally just mentioned this in my declutter video um, of powders, and I just got a new one. This is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. I have it in the shade Nude. But this is just a great powder. It's um, nice, and it, it does have coverage, and it's if you have like a natural day and you just want concealer and a little powder, perfect for it. And I really like it. I heard it's comparable to the IT Cosmetics one. And you guys, I didn't mention, this was so hard for me to pick out my favorite products under $10 because I have so many favorite drugstore products. A lot of them are over $10 because the drugstore is getting so expensive. But um, a lot of these products, I was like having a hard time narrowing down, to be honest. Okay, so I was going to mention this bronzer, but not anymore because I just realized it's over $10. Sorry if you hear water running, but this is a Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It's a great drugstore bronzer, but it's under $10, so I technically shouldn't be mentioning that. This Makeup Revolution Highlighter, or Shimmer Brick Radiant, do you see that? This is the most intense highlighter I've ever used. It is... I love it because you can get different shades for different skin tones, so if your skin tone is a little bit deeper... Um, there's like a deeper one if you want more of a pink, a more yellow, a more kind of like a bronze. There's just like so many different shades. Sorry, I have like stains of swatches on my hands. But there's so many different shades and this is a really great highlighter. And it's only like $7 I think. It's amazing. Two eyeshadows. or Well, this is just one eyeshadow. I'm just counting this as one. I just have two colors from it. The L'Oreal Infallible Single Eyeshadows are amazing. They are so pretty. I... Every time I need a lid color, and I don't, like, honestly, I go to these so much if I need just, like, a lid color that's really pretty. Because I'm trying out, like, some eyeshadow palettes right now from Makeup Revolution. Their shimmery shades are not my favorite. And just, I have to put this on top just to make it look so much better. So I love that one. That one's an ice latte. And then this one I don't use as much, but it's still really pretty. And every time I wear these, I get compliments. People, like, think they're, like, Urban Decay or something. They're not. This is um, Amber Rush. So I saute at Amber Rush. They're really pretty. Oh, you guys, I just, I love these. Mascaras, the Essence I Heart Extreme Volume Waterproof and CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers. This one's brand new to me. I've only worn this a couple times, but I already love this. Um... So I probably technically shouldn't be putting this in here, but I have a lot of mascara favorites, to be honest with you. I can't really choose one. I really like this CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers. To be honest, I haven't really found my Holy Grail mascara yet. I'm still searching for it, but these are nice ones. Um, 
this super sizer fibers I like. I know I've tried the super sizer like last year around this time, but I don't know. I haven't like tried. I don't know if I know it's a huge difference, but I like this for lengthening and then for volumizing I'll do this. So I'll put this volume one on first and look at the size of this wand. So I'll put the volume one on first, lengthening one after. I have false lashes on right now, but these are great. I'm actually wearing this today with my false lashes. Two lip products. This NYX liquid lipstick or the NYX lingerie in 09 corset is a great like purple nude darker liquid lipstick. Really pretty. Really love it. It dries down matte. It lasts quite a while actually and I it does dry lips out a little bit so I'll put on a little chapstick before and then line my lips and put this on top and it looks great. Lastly is this Milani lipstick in the shade matte naked i just got this lipstick a couple days ago actually but i love it it's like the perfect nude it is so pretty i have on their liquid lipstick right now their amori matte lip cream or whatever it's okay it's a little drying but i put this on top and it looks really good and the last thing i want to mention which is actually a like a pro like a tool this l'oreal makeup sponge you guys Casey Holmes, I don't know if you guys watch her, she's a YouTuber, she is, she recommended this to me, or she just recommended this, it is an amazing sponge, I love my beauty blender, but this sponge, I'm telling you guys, this one is really good, and I think it's even cheaper than the Real Techniques one, and it's, it's a little bit more, I feel like it's still pretty squishy, but it's like the Real Techniques one where it's a little more dense, like the material's a little more dense, if you kind of know what I mean. Um, it's a little bit harder to get up under your eyes, but I really like this side for just pouncing, my voice just went out, for like pouncing foundation on your skin. Used it with my Smashbox foundation today and it looked amazing. So I love this sponge. It looks great. And it's a really good sponge. I love that one. Those were all of my top 10 or 11 products under $10. I hope they were all under $10. I think they were. If you enjoyed this video, please thumbs this up and subscribe to my channel if you are new and you came from Diana's channel. Please check out her channel. The link is down in the description box along with her video and tell her I sent you. Get her to 100 subscribers. She is so close, you guys. So close. So get her to 100 subscribers. I'm My goal is to hit 200. There's like noise in the background. Water. I don't know why, but people are running water in my house right now for some reason.